swaps out into Umbreon. This isn't the greatest situation here because now the attack is being lowered. The opponent has a shield match, basically a full health stun fisk going to be very hard to pull a win out of this. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ox here with another video. If you're new to the channel, we do upload Pokemon Go content mostly related to PvP. And if you're a returning subscriber like Caesar Alexander IV, thank you for the support. In today's video, we are shotcasting some battles in the Open Great League. These battles were submitted to the channel by Joe of SMX, and they are taking place in the Gatekeeper range, featuring a very spicy pick, and it's a very popular pick on this channel, Articuno, but this is a Shadow Articuno, and it is also a Great League Articuno, so definitely a very spicy pick. Not ranked very high on PV Poke, but it should be interesting to watch how this thing performs in the Great League. This will likely be the final Shadowcast for Season 8, so I just want to thank everyone who submitted their battles for Season 8. Of course, I was not able to get to everyone's submission, and I apologize if I was not able to do yours. Again, I am working full-time over 40 hours a week, so it is very hard to upload content on a regular basis, but I definitely appreciate the support. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please make sure you smash that like button to help the channel grow. Leave a comment in the comment section down below, and without any further ado, let's jump into the first battle right now. So a few people have been asking me where the uploads have been this week. Usually during the final week of the season, I do like to sort of take a break from uploading, just to sort of take a break from that daily grind and prepare myself for the start of the next season. So that's the reason for less uploads this week. Definitely will get back on the grind beginning Monday though with the start of season nine. Swampert into Medicham right here. Pretty favorable matchup for Medicham in general. So let's say the opponent plays south. They actually swap out into his new role. And this Swampert is absolutely loaded. So you know a Sludge Wave is coming through right here. Opponent lets that go through. And because of that huge energy lead, Swampert's actually able to get to back to back Sludge Waves here, forcing a shield from the opponent or letting it go down. They decide to let the Azumarill go down instead. Now, of course, the Swampert is relatively dry, I guess, on energy, but still gets to another Hydro Can right here before the Meta Champ throws. It's going to shield CMP tie absolute best case scenario for the Swampert right there. Coming in with the Articuno is up a shield. The Metacham going to throw another move and it's another Psychic dealing huge damage and they get the defense drop but the Articuno is still able to get to this Icy Wind right here on the Metacham which the opponent is going to allow through and the Umbreon comes in. So at this point the Metacham going for the power up punch and the opponent is going to swap out into Galarian Stunfisk, which usually isn't the best matchup for Umbreon. However, with a shield advantage, as well as this huge energy lead, it should be pretty smooth sailing from this point for the Umbreon, especially when you're calling the Rock Slide baits right there. Saving the shield so another foul play comes through. The Galarian Stunfisk now is down to zero shields. Now you're pretty much in Earthquake range more or less, so you have to start shielding up even if they are rock slides, can't afford to take the risk. So the foul play coming through right here, swaps out into Articuno and can't really get farmed down by Mudshot as you see, but an excellent swap from the opponents into the Metacham, tries to charge, but that thing has zero HP basically. Stunfist comes back in, absolutely farming to the limit and is able to get to, it has to throw the rocks that also would get hit by another Icy Wind. Comes in, is going to win CMP tie against the Umbreon Rock Slide wouldn't KO anyways, but the shield is there. Foul play coming through. The opponent actually played that very, very well considering the situation they found themselves in and managed to make that matchup relatively close in the end. So GG's right there. Let's hop into match number two. And we are going to be leading the Swamper once again into a Shadow Swamper. So the mirror match right here. And this matchup pretty much comes down to who decides to shield and basically sneaking in an extra mud shot potentially could flip this as well. So going for the Hydro Cannon right here. Let's see if it is a CMP tie. It is. So it looks like the non-Shadow Swampert is winning the CMP in this situation. And going to build up to two Hydro Cannons to swap out into the Umbreon to catch a Hydro Cannon right here from the Swampert. Does about 25% of the health right there and here comes the Galvantula. So you love to see this being drawn out right now because that is a huge threat 
to the Articuno in the back. Foul play comes through, you can see it does still chunk away at the Galvantula. Lunge shouldn't KO right here, but getting that debuff on the attack should mean that this foul play is not going to be enough to take out the Galvantula, which means that the Galvantula in turn should be able to farm down the Umbreon with Volt Switch. So should be able to get off a Lunge right here. Are they gonna come with Articuno? No, they're gonna come in with the Swampert. Maybe Articuno catching the lunge would be one play, but then you have to swap out anyway. So they do come in with the Swampert, get that farm, and now they are at exactly two Hydro Cannons, and they're going to throw the first one here. Let's see if the opponent is going to shield this up. They do, and it is another CMP. Going to shield this up as well, and what is the Swampert? They swap out and catch this move. I did not see what they brought in right here, but a Hydro Cannon coming through. It's a Skarmory in the back, so here comes the Articuno. Not the best matchup, but the opponent is throwing the Sky Attack right here before they get debuffed. But look at this, the Articuno, excellent play right here, farming up to as close as two Icy Winds as they possibly can in order to ensure that they do not get outpaced to the Hydro Cannon by the opponent. As you see right there, able to get to the Icy Wind. If they threw that move a bit too early, the Swampert would likely be able to outpace the Articuno to the Hydro Cannon and then maybe even beat our own Swampert to a second Hydro Cannon in order to win that game. So very heads up play right there by Jove to take that game and off to a 2-0 start as we see a beautiful lead and a pretty beautiful shiny. I'm not going to lie. That is a sick shiny right there in Bastionon, but it is a hard counter lead. So here comes Bloom and Articuno, a very solid answer. is going to shield up the potential Shadow Ball, but it is only an Icy Wind. Even with the debuff, Articuno should be fine right here. So going for the Icy Wind, which should be enough to take out the Bloom. actually. They are going to burn a shield. And at this point, Articuno actually going to get to another Icy Wind right here. Let's see if Driftloom wants to go down two shields. Yes, they do. So the opponent building up a lot of energy right here. And they get farmed down without throwing a move. I am not sure what happened there. Not entirely sure why you would shield if you're not going to throw the move. You know, up, upon seeing this initially, I was thinking, okay, maybe they want to get farm on the Bastion, but that, why would you burn the shield? That doesn't really make sense. So I think it was just a misplay on the opponent's part. Maybe they lagged and they couldn't even see the screen. And then next thing you know, they're out. But who knows? Bastion comes in. So notice that Jove did swap out into the Umbreon in order to preserve that Articuno in case there is a grass type in the back. Obviously, the Swampert is going to have any play if that's the case. So Bastion on right here. See, the opponent is staying in and the Stone Edge coming through. I mean, it kind of makes sense to stay in because it has zero play against the Swamper, so you don't want to have the Bastion aligned against that, of course. But let's see how this plays out right here. Opponent doesn't have any shield, so a very tough spot. Another foul play coming through. And going to get to the next one, which is going to be enough to take out the Bastion on. So let's see what the third point is. Instantly swaps out into Articuno, and it is a superior in the back. So you want to shield this up. Opponent is fishing for the attack drop with the Leaf Tornado, but even still, Icy Wind coming from the Shadow should be enough to take out the Torn... Tor Tornadus. I don't know where I was going with the Tornadus right there. The Superior. <laughs> I was going to say Tornadus. I don't know what the heck. Maybe they're both green. That's the only thing I can think of, but... Takes that game with the Articuno right there against the Superior. We got Swampert into Azumo right here. So let's see how this matchup plays out. Of course, Lion the Sludge Wave is huge in this match and building up a lot of energy. Going straight for right here. Let's see if the opponent wants to shield this up. Yes, they do. So good call on the opponent's side. And let's see if it's going to be a Hydro Cannon is going to shield this up. It's only an Ice Move, so you don't like to see that. But still would have to shield up one move, I believe, in order to get off or to win this match, of course, in the one shield. So Sludge Wave comes through that one, lands, and now the... If it's Ice Beam, it's not going to KO. Gonna let this go through, makes a huge call. It is only an Ice Beam, able to get to the Hydro Cannon, actually over farm quite a bit here. So not expecting the opponent to shield here. And the Swampert should be able to get to one more Hydro Cannon, unless they come in with like a Grass type. No, not able to get there. The Mew says no to that idea. Umbreon, here comes Toxic Croak. A little bit of lag right there, and Articuno comes in. So Articuno isn't your typical, you know, hard counter flying type to a fighter of course it is part ice so it is going to be taking quite a bit of damage still from those counters and did shield up the mud bomb bait so that means that the tox croak should be able now to outpace to the sludge bomb 
which should be enough to take out the Articuno from this range. Don't think Mud Bomb would be. Yeah, so they go for the Sludge Bomb, the safe play, take it out. Umbreon coming in and able to get to this foul play before the Toxic Croak gets to another move. But is it going to be enough to take out the Toxic Croak? Yes, it is. That's huge. Mew comes in, shields are down. I don't think one foul play is going to be enough to KO. So if this Mew is running Focus Blast, maybe there's some potential to still lose this game. Mew gets to the move. Is it a Focus Blast? Only a Wild Charge. And as you can see, that is not going to be enough to take this game. Wild Charge. No, sir. Not enough. Foul play coming through. This is going to take out the Mew. And that is going to be a GG. So let's hop into the next battle. And Shadow Swamper looking, or it's not Shadow Swamper. I think it's Shadow Swamper because I've been running it so much in my my own battles, but it's just a regular Swamper here. And that is a beautiful lead to see. A lot of good leads actually in this video. Here comes Shadow Needle Queen. And this thing is pretty, pretty oppressive. And Poison Pain comes through. The article actually doesn't shield that. And I believe now at this point, because you actually didn't shield, the Needle Queen could take switch advantage here if they shield up this Icy Wind because they should be able to Poison Fang down or Poison Jab down rather before he gets to the move, which is the case there. So they actually give up switch advantage, which isn't great. That's going to shield advantage though. So coming to Umbreon, I like this play because it is so tanky that even if it is an Earth Power, you know, it's not going to do too much. Umbreon, super bulky and farms down. Here comes Stunfisk. Jealous sent in the back, so not too optimal right here. But Swampert does have a shield advantage. So let's see how this plays out. Hydro Cannon coming through. And although these Hydro Cannons are being resisted, they're still dealing quite a bit of damage because it is a very oppressive move. So I'm gonna shield this up and it is the Bubble Beam Bait. You hate to see it. So now these Hydro Cannons, which are already not doing too much, are going to be doing even less. I mean, that's still a lot of damage to be honest. If we're being totally honest with you, that's a pretty broken move. Another Bubble Beam Bait swaps out into Umbreon. And this isn't the greatest situation here because now the attack is being lowered. The opponent has a shield match, basically a full health stun fisk. Going to be very hard to pull a win out of this. The only positive is that that Jellicent did throw energy. So it's likely not at a move and that could potentially be a win condition in this match if it gets to that point. So let's see what happens here. Stunfisk likely going to be going for the Earthquake right here. Yes, it does. Swaps out into Swampert, able to get off this Hydro Cannon right here. Should get the final shield. And now Stunfisk needs to get, oh, they tried to sack the Jellicent. Stunfisk needs to throw the Earthquake right here. They do, takes out the Swampert. Can the Umbreon get to the foul play? Yes, it can. But is it going to be enough to take out the Stunfisk here? Come back from this difficult lead. Bang! There it is. Stunfisk gets taken out. Huge win right there. Able to go a perfect 5-0 in that set. Capping off the set in style. So those were the battles in the Open Great League featuring a very spicy pick, Shadow Articuno. You know we are big fans of Articuno on this channel. Big shout out to Joe of SMX once again for the submission. Had a lot of fun covering these battles. So that's probably going to be the last Shoutcast for Season 8 on this channel. Definitely subscribe for more content beginning on Monday with the start of Season 9. If you guys enjoy this type of video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.